welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. So in this video today, I'm going to tell you about the shortcut keys that you can use to move in the cockpit and plus the cabin. So if you want to look around, you have your arrow keys, left and right, up and down. You can use the arrow keys to just look around and plus uh, if you press shift and then if you use keys W, A, S and D, you can move in the cockpit. You can use arrow keys to change the view and plus shift A, S, W and D to move around. Then there is another trick that you can do is use your mouse to basically look around, pan rather and then you can just like press shift and W to go forward and with the mouse you can just change the view. It's really simple. Then there is another thing that you can do is this use the keys Q and E to go up and down. So this is Q going down. And then you have E to go up. That's good. <laughs> so it's really simple. And then you can use your mouse to basically look around. And if you press uh, shift and space, you will go back to the cockpit view. Now within the cockpit, you can use shift 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and uh, then I think also 9 and shift 0 and then if you press shift 0 again you will get back to the cockpit. So you can use shift 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to cycle through the cockpit instruments. If you press backspace you will get this uh, outside view and if you press backspace you'll get back into a plane now for the drone mode it's really simple just go to the drone mode or the showcase mode and over here you can again use left right up and down keys to basically look left and right and plus if you press shift a then you can just move like this and d for the left Q and E for up and down and W and S for backward and forward movement. So this is really simple and another thing that I can tell you is this that you can change the speed of the drone. If you reduce the drone speed or increase the drone speed it will have an impact. So let's say if I really reduce it to uh, like 9 or less than that 3. When I'm making intro videos for my videos, I usually keep the drone speed at 2, 3 or 4, not more than that because then it's really slow and it's nice. So let's say if I press uh, Shift W, it starts going forward and if I press E, it will just go keep on going up. And if I press, let's say, Q, it will go down and plus forward. But it gets really slow, so you can just change the speed. But if you want some nice shots like this for your simulator, you can reduce the speed. Similarly, in the cockpit view, again, you can just change the speed of the free look. Let's say if I keep it at really low values, you will see that even with the mouse, <laughs> it's not moving. Let's uh, increase the momentum. I think I've just messed up with the settings. Let's check again. Free look speed. If I keep it at 30, then you know, it's moving now. It was really low. So that's how you can just change the speed. If you think it's moving really slow, you can just adjust the speed and that's it. So this was a short video in which I just wanted to tell you about uh, the different camera views. And one more thing, you can use the mouse wheel for zooming in, zooming out. <laughs> Thank you very much for staying with me. And if you've got any questions, the comment section is there for you. And if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.